welcome to Elevation Wrestling. It is Sunday, August the 4th, which is also a special day for me because it's my father's birthday today. Happy 71st to you, sir. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a great afternoon. My name's Joseph Collins. I am, of course, joined by Brad Matthews. Thank you to Spike Muster Media for helping us be a part of this amazing event. Talking of talents, talking of wrestlers, making his way to the ring to kick things off here in the Working Men's Club of Mount Sorrel is none other than Mr. Kai Daniels. How are we doing, Brad? I'm doing really well, thank you, Joe. And you mentioned talent, you mentioned Kai Daniels. Here he comes to the ring, a huge, huge fan favourite. This guy, I've seen him over the past couple of years develop. He's got so much potential, so much talent, and he's really blossoming into a brilliant professional wrestler. He really is, he's very much on that journey, something that Elevation Wrestling, we just talked about, momentum, we're on the steps, we're working our way forward, we're all of me and you being in the ring, everything's about that next step forward. And this today, arguably, is Kai Daniels' biggest test, his biggest step, as he's about to take on one of the most decorated, one of the most respected wrestlers. I'll let Zach introduce him right now, here he comes. So you told us about Kai Daniels, why don't you tell us about this man? You heard it there from Zach. Lee Hunter, one half of the legendary British tag team, the Hunter Brothers, alongside Jim. This guy's been wrestling for decades, and one of the greatest technical wrestlers uh, in, in, British, in the British scene. You put him in there against anybody, he'll be able to tie them up in knots, he'll be able to wrestle rings around them. The fans love him, and for good reason. And it's funny, obviously, we always talk about the Hunter brothers, as you mentioned. We've seen Jim Hunter compete in Elevation Wrestling, but I don't think people do, but just in case anyone's thinking tag team wrestler, yes, he's a tremendous tag team wrestler, but do not take away from his singles career. Lee Hunter, I can say it, having been in the ring with him, having had the privilege of being able to watch him, Lee Hunter, not just my opinion, so many people have put him that upper echelon of not just British wrestling, but independent wrestling. How Lee Hunter has never been signed full-time to a wrestling contract with one of the major companies is a, is a shock to me, but it's also a privilege to be able to have him a part of the Elevation roster. Last time as well, Brad, that we were in Mount Sol, Lee Hunter won that fatal four-way against Sash, Brady Phillips, and my tag team partner, Riley Nova. So, Lee Hunter is on a tear, he's on a run, he's rocking and rolling in Elevation Wrestling. He really is, he really is. He's been, he's been uh, in some fantastic matches here, and a nice, a nice bit of show of respect. And a wrist lock straight out of the gate. I mentioned that technical ability, and we're probably going to see it. So you're that right at the start here. And it's interesting as well, because Kai can't go into this, he can't show him the ability, he's got to go in. You know, the minute that sometimes matches can be won and lost before you walk out through the curtain. If you go in doubting your ability, and I don't, I'm not saying Kai's doing this, but he needs to make sure that he is ready. And I know the young man, he is. He looks at a challenge like this, he doesn't shy away from it. We've seen that time and time again with Kai Daniels. Yeah, he, he's not going to back away from the challenge. He's going to see this as a, as a huge test. As you say, he can't allow that to get into his head. He just needs to do what he does well. Well, right there, there's a test there. Uh, Lee Hunter had the top wrist like Kai Daniels. Beautiful bridge. This is just two guys feeling each other out. You know, wrist lock reversals, nice technical wrestling. And like you said, it's interesting at the moment. Kai Daniels more than meeting the challenge that Lee Hunter's presenting. He, he really is. And uh, if, if you've not seen Kai Daniels before, not only can he, can he go, to, go hold for hold with somebody, he's got some great suplexes, especially that German suplex that he likes to use. That's probably something that Lee Hunter's going to have to watch out for to make sure that he doesn't, you know, he doesn't get caught in that. Once again, a battle of wrist locks. And oh, and here's our first pin. One. Schoolboy, one count there. And we're back to a spit of a stalemate. Kai building in confidence, got that cheeky smile. Uh, Schoolboy roll up there, changing things up. Are we going to go back to a collar and elbow, or are we going to see a bit of a shift in tempo? Lock up. Oh, oh no, Lee Strange with Schoolboy of his own one count. And that's where the experience of Lee Hunter is really, really on show. Hunter's been around for a long time. He's not going to fall for the same trick twice. This time Kai goes behind and 
whether he's going, like you say, Kai likes to use those suplexes, German suplex being one of them. That's the perfect position for that, but then he reverses into the headlock, send off the ropes, and Kai drops down. Oh, bypass by Kai, goes for the hip toss, and Lee reverses it with a hip toss of his own. And Kai knocks Lee Hunter down. Once again, even Stevens here, bypass. Oh! Kai falls down, and gets tripped up. We don't always see that happen, but that's what can happen. Oh, goes for, the, goes for that huge flying drop kick. Kai puts uh, Lee back to his feet, and that might, might be looking for a suplex already here, Brad. Here we go. Oh, my word. Oh, one, is he good, looking to pair these things up? There it is, suplex number two. Let's go for a third. Here comes the trifecta. Lee needs to get out of this. He doesn't. Three Here's huge a, suplexes. This is going to be interesting. And that's our first two count in the match. We saw a one count earlier from a pair of schoolboys, and now uh, three suplexes. You see that really irritates the lower back of Lee Hunter. Kai Daniels is really in control, is he? Sends Lee to the other side. Ooh, what an elbow. Yeah. Physical contact there. I was a bit unsure about that sending yeah. from the corner, but he did get all of it and was able to follow up with that elbow. Here's a T-bone. Dumping Lee on the back of his head. See how Kai presses down the shoulder of Lee Hunter there. Doesn't get the leg, but enough body on body on the shoulders that Lee Hunter is able to answer the call. Kicks out before the free count. And you see now the lower back, and now that shoulder seems to be slightly aggravated with Lee Hunter as well. Not a big fan of the power, not enough power in those Irish whips, and Lee Hunter able to counter, get that up and over. Oh, talking of counters. Oh, reverse DDT. This is where the experience factor comes in. I think Kai got a little too, I think copy's the wrong word, but a little bit too confident. Took his eye off the basics. Lee Hunter able to count with the up and over. And then, you see that the, uh, devastating reverse DDT. So now Lee Hunter shifted things into his favor. Can he capitalize? Talk about whips to the buckle. Kai gets sent in directly into the buckle, follows through. Even there, he gets a two count, but like we talked, we keep bringing it up. A veteran knew that Kai was too close to throw, dragged him into the middle of the ring, gets a, uh, gets a two count. And now Lee with an arm bar. Real talk on that left arm of Kai Daniels. If you can break that down, it affects your ability to deliver a suplex, but, but Kai's fighting out. Not enough pepper in those punches. Oh my word. And where was that directed to? Right to the arm. Oh, that was close. That was very close. It's like a bit of frustration there on Lee. You, you don't seem to you don't seem to see that very much from Lee Hunter. Well, Lee Hunter, this is the thing. I've never seen him take his eye off the ball. He still has the passion, still has the drive for this job. And uh, oh, I promise you, that's the one thing about Lee and Jim. They don't take anything for granted, whether you're a year in, two years in, ten years in, how many championships you've won. He won't go into this taking Kai Daniels lightly. He's had the opportunity to be on several match cards with Kai, first time they've competed against each other. And uh, he knows what Kai can bring to the table. And talking of suplexes, this is the biggest one of them all, the superplex, but no, it's counted! Enough power from Daniels there, but he needs to capitalise. Getting his feet back, he's on the second rope. What's he looking for here? Tornado DDT position. Oh, he hooks him for a suplex. Up and down! Beautiful move. Pop of the hips there. I was unsure because Lee had worked on that arm, but looks like Kai's got enough energy in him. Penny capitalised himself back to the lower back of Lee Hunter. Here we go. Runs in. Line, clothesline, building up a bit of momentum. Here we go, back Brad, German Here's suplex. Oh. There we go. Keeps pairing these suplexes up. Lee needs to find a rope, needs to find a cat, but he can't. German suplex, there's a second. Is he going to try and triple the Germans like he did with the verticals earlier? The crowd want it. Lee Hunter Lee's doesn't. on those ropes. Kai breaks the grip. Oh. Oh, wow, big suplex. Another one, oh. but a delayed this time. Watch out for the ceiling fan. Oh! Huge. And the damage done to Lee Hunter's back now. Multiple impacts. 
Card Daniels is on a roll, he needs to make that cover. I think, I'm not sure, it'd be interesting that couldn't capitalise as quick as he might have liked to, Brad, on that pin. Gave Lee Hunter just enough time to get that shoulder up. Would have been interesting if Kai could have got straight into the pin after that massive suplex we just saw. But that was, that was then, and this is now, and an insecurity hit right on the button, right at the back of the head. Daniels wobbled, Daniels dazed. Lee Hunter, though, still recuperating from the effects of those German suplexes. <coughs> Excuse me. Big drill. Oh, big shot to the midsection. Not enough in those European uppercuts. That Inzaguri's rock Daniels, I'm telling you. Seriously has. Ooh. Ooh. Lee has put the blocks on. Is he looking for a backslide? No. Ooh. Now there's a forearm. And there's another one. And a trifecta. In the battle of the, of the trifectas. Oh, Ooh. my God. Now that rock Lee Hunter. He would be on the floor if it wasn't for them ropes. Oh, ducks Dive. the clothesline, ducks the clothesline. Oh, diving forearm by Lee Hunter. And a clothesline. Guy Daniels getting up on instinct here, Brad Matthews. He's wobbled, he's dazed. Absolutely. Lee Hunter is on fire. Oh, big shot to the ribs. Okay, so the commentator scoops him up. Down we go. And a DDT. Delivered perfectly. And a shoulder up. The heart of Kai Daniels is really on show. After having his neck vertebrae compressed there by Lee Hunter. Now Lee Hunter recently in elevation competition, a super kick has been getting in victories. And as we speak, as Shawn Michaels would say, we're tuning up the band. Goes for it. Oh. Kai puts the brakes on, and that would have got straight to the jawline if he hadn't saved himself there. Hooks the waist lock. Hunter throws Kai off. Kai off. Oh, beautiful athleticism. And another German suplex. One, two. Oh. That was the closest near fall of the contest. Kai looking for. Is he looking for the Kai cutter? He is. Oh. Super kick. One. Two and three, ring the bell. Incredible. What a match, what a victory. It goes to Lee Hunter, and that shows you how impressive both athletes are. Look at Lee Hunter there. I think that was instinct, Brad Matthews. Yeah, exactly. He, Kai was flying through the air at a high rate of knots. Lee unleashes his most devastating maneuver, the super kick. And you know, the impact on Kai Daniels kept him down. Oh, oh it's a show of respect. Lee there checking Kai because he just hit, he knows how hard he struck him there. That wobbled Daniels slightly. Well, more than slightly because it was enough to get the free count. Yeah, he's not. He's not. <laughs> I promise you Kai Daniels learned a lot from that. That, Kai, that German suplex, we said it, we thought he had it. Kai got that confidence, went for that cutter off the second. Lee Hunter equals the score with the super kick, and that was enough to get the victory. No shame in losing to Lee Hunter. Kai Daniels shows it as an impressive showing.